I recently acquired a good bit of this uh it's great be it's coax from uh old decommissioned cell phone towers <clears throat> and after going over it and going over it trying to figure out the easiest way to strip it because the core is aluminum aluminum copper coated aluminum you can see the the gray silver tint white whatever uh and that's the center of that's the plastic that surrounds that center core but uh outside is a piece of copper tube like this and uh the easiest way i'm finding to strip it i have to find a tripod and set it up so i can record a little bit but here's a piece that's being cut with the outside coating cut off uh, that comes off easy you just take a box knife and score it and it peels right off uh kind of like the outside coating to romex but this piece here is a bastard to do uh short of burning it you could burn it and probably do it in a lot less than half the time but you get in trouble for burning it and it's not good for the environment and blah 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 all that shit but that's what the core well i just dropped it that's what the core look like you've seen it in the video all right let me find a tripod all right here's a piece of it that's i cut it and the way i cut it is with these tubing cutters cut it into about six eight inch piece well first let's strip some of this outside of the Find my box knife. Uh, yeah, well. The shit did I do with it? I just take it and go right along it like it. Catch it. It just peels right off. Yeah. I said it does. There we go. I just hit the tripod, I think. But uh, once you get this off. Then I cut it into take this tool here. I hope I'm getting this. Cut it into six or eight inch pieces. You see it cuts it pretty good. Right. I'll, uh, if you guys will see it or not, I just take a set of side cutters and where the score mark is, where it where I scored the black plastic is where I like to start. It takes a second to get it started, but once you get it going, you untwist. About a inch or so off of here to get it where you can start unscrewing it like a bolt or a screw see it just peels right up like that and I guess a feller could do this for three days and get done what I've got to do but
who would want to do that? Not I. And this isn't bad to do, it's, but it's no fun. Also, this will sell as bare bright. So, watch what bucket you put it in. I don't know if the camera is showing it or not, but see how shiny that is? Bare bright. There we go. Get a good clean edge on that end. That way, when you start to this white piece here, I'm going to clamp it in the clamp. And then, like I said, this should just un it'll start unscrewing. I've done got, well, if you can see that, I get it up five or six or eight turns, clamp some vice grips to it, get a better clamp on it, clamp some vice grips to it, and then just do it like this. I hope that's showing. Once it's up so far, I bend it over and just do it like this. Me and Douglas was going over different ways. Might go about cleaning this stuff, but this is the Easiest way I've found, with, aside from burning it. And then once you get it cleaned out, piece of clean copper, bare bright. But, uh, <coughs> let me flip you back around. Like I said, I wound up with some. I ain't got a truckload of it yet or nothing but there's supposed to be a bunch more coming uh so that's what i'm working on right now and the the ends the ends that screw into the equipment are stainless steel so once you get all the plastic cleaned out of them you got clean stainless but uh Here's some more to this copper clean up from the big uh, cell phone tower coaxes. Uh, found a better way to do it than unscrewing it by hand. I'll get the tripod set up and show you. Half three quarters of an inch of the copper. And I, I just untwist that, I unwrap it like I showed yesterday. Lock a drill on it. And then put it in reverse. Let me speed things up here. Comes right out. You gotta have a decent size chuck on your drill because you can see compared to my finger, you know, it's about 
oh, I guess three eighths, a little over, maybe seven sixteenths diameter. But that piece there has pretty good weight to it. I mean, it don't weigh a pound or nothing, but this stuff's worth stripping. Then this, I'm not stripping for the aluminum. I'm just gonna throw it in the dirty aluminum and be done with it. But uh, I'll get, I'll work on this for a while and then I'll get a short outro or however you wanna say it to, and give an estimate how long it took me to get what I show at the end. I don't know if that's worth it or not to you guys but to me I've got a lot of time so and I've got very little money invested in this material so i'm gonna work on it till i get it clean y'all seen what i had uh that was six seven pieces i guess took me all of about a minute maybe so i don't know if it's worth it to you guys or not but to me it seems seems to be worth it uh but I'm not going to make this video wait until it's all done. I'm just going to plug away at that and some heat sinks. I've got a tote over that way. Well, you can't see it, but it's over there. It's over there full of, uh, well, about third full of uh, aluminum heat sinks with the big copper stackers in it. i got to push all those out. Anyways, that's what I'm working on today. What are you guys plugging away at? Like, comment, subscribe. I already did an outro, but I'm going to add another one. Have a good one.